Tim, Tim had a recording studio. He had Doobie Shea Studios when I joined the band. And uh, so we pretty much had unlimited studio time to do that Carrying the Tradition record. And we would spend hours and hours working on stuff. We probably had 200, 250 hours in that record. And it, we kind of based all the inter- instrumental stuff around Tim's guitar. He would cut a guitar track, and I'd, I'd play a bass track, or Tim would play a bass track. And I think I ended up maybe four or five of the songs on that album I'm playing bass on. Uh, on the release cut and um, we cut everything to a drum machine and we would just sit there and and try this and try that and you know we had the freedom to do that and so we spent spent a lot of time you know really picking that stuff apart and and when we started that record we got to talking about we all you know tried to do more modern more new grassy type stuff. You know, Lonesome River Band had done the same thing through the 80s. And the Lonesome River Band started the year before the Virginia Squires did. And we kind of came up together through the 80s. And uh, so when we got to talking about what we was going to do, we just felt like that probably the best thing for us to do was to try to cut the most traditional record we were capable of. And that, so that's what we set out to do. And that album, Carrying the Tradition, kind of, it was something that, it was a sound that nobody had ever really heard before. Just a combination of the four people and the songs that we did and the vocals of Ronnie and Dan and having two really good featured lead singers. Um, it was just, it was something people really hadn't heard before. It was, it was, and how I've always described Lonesome River Band was a traditional bluegrass band with a rock and roll downbeat. And that's basically what we, what we started and, and what we still do today, really. Yeah, he had a, it was a Tascam one inch analog and it was a Tascam console and he had a few preamps and, we pretty much, you know, we had enough good stuff to do one track at a time. That's how we built that record. Some of the songs we had been playing live and some of them we hadn't. And so we, um, we just kind of built it. Um, and like I say, it was something that was just kind of new to the, to the bluegrass world. And it was by accident. It wasn't by purpose by any means. 